Hey YouTube, welcome back to the Blades to Be Shop. Just a really quick video for you today. I know I haven't gotten a video out for the last couple of weeks. Wanted to give you all an update on what's going on here in the shop. The truth is I'm just making parts that you've already seen made on video before. So I don't want to put out repetitive content, but I thought I would go around and just give you a quick update on the parts that I'm making, what it looks like when I start making more than just one of something, and also uh, just keep you updated on what's going on. Had a couple people ask me why I haven't had a video out the last couple of weeks. Thought I'd show you what I've been doing. So for those of you new to the channel, usually I've got all the videos out here on making these parts, but everything I'm about to show you here on what I've got going in a production run, there are already videos out there on my channel. So if you wanna see how any of these things are made, you can definitely look back at either the knife making series look back at the making of this Eagle bottle opener and you'll be able to find videos on the machining and the actual, uh, you'll be able to go back and find the details and the video and the drawings and everything else on all these parts. But hey, let's take a quick look at what's been keeping me busy for the last couple of weeks. So first off, I know I showed you all this Eagle bottle opener. So trying to use up some of those titanium pieces that uh, weren't gonna be the right thickness for me to make handle slabs after they came just a little bit warped. So I knocked out a series of 10 of those Three of those flamed, truly unique. Every one of those is a little bit different, so that's looking nice. I've got some work in the bead blaster, so I've got three of them here that are bead blasted, and then I've got some that are raw machined and ready to go. You can find those on my bladestobead.com website, bladesiib.com if you're interested. You can check those out. Also been working on a set of knives, so I've got five of these on the go. So these handle slabs are complete. Just finished the last step on these, which was tapping all these 256 holes in here. If you watched my earlier video on setting up that Tapmatic, I uh, had a little bit of problems getting going with it, but I tell you, I have finally got the recipe right with that now. I just tapped all 45 of these holes in here in under 30 minutes. And you know, that's just going slow, stopping, making sure I kept enough lube on the tap in between holes. So it went flawlessly, used the same tap the whole time. So here's a look at that Tapmatic setup. Got a nice Kenna Metal 256 tap in there, spiral point designed for use in titanium. And like I say, it worked great. Just knocked out all 45 of those holes in under 30 minutes. No issues with the tap, didn't break anything, worked awesome, just like it was supposed to. So have that dialed in and working well. So in addition to those five handle slabs on the go, I've got another set of five that I've machined both sides of these. All I have to do now is get those on there and finish the contours. That last step takes about an hour and a half to machine from what I've got here to get that last step where all the contours and everything are on. I'll start working on those as I'm in the shop, working on blades a little bit. I can have the Tormach running while I'm doing other things. So that's been working out well. I also have five more blades on the go to go with these five handles. Uh, I just need to finish putting my chainsaw file cuts on there, and then those will be ready to grind some bevels on. Back to this set of handles. I got the finally got to the finish that I'm looking for with the bead blast on there as well. Really happy with how that bead blaster is working. You can check out another video on my channel that shows the setup and operation of that Cyclone bead blaster, but it is now running and working great. So really happy with that compared to just the, the raw titanium finish on those or, you know, the machine marks that you would see if I wasn't bead blasting that finish. So really happy with how those are turning out. And the last thing I have on the go over here is I have the other five blades to go with those nearly with those finished handle slabs over there. They're not nearly finished. They are finished. So I have five blades in here. I already heat treated them the other day. And if you watched my other heat treating video this time, I went ahead and did do the plate quenching. So I had a vise set up and I just used uh, two aluminum plates and pinched them between those after they came out and cooled them. I think I like it. So I took somebody's advice on trying the plate quenching instead of just uh, air quenching like I was doing or hanging them up open air. And I think the plates work pretty well. So right now those are in there for their first temper. I'll pull those out here in another 59 minutes and I'll make sure I get a shot of those on the video. You can see what those five blades are looking like before I get those finished up and put together. And there's the five of them in there. Just got that first temper on them. Let's get those out of there, take a look. Well, there they are. There's five blades just out of the oven from their first round of tempering. 
So I'll get those back in the freezer for another couple of days and then I'll put them back out, give them their second temper and then those will be ready to head over to the belt grinder, finish the bevels on there, finish the flats on there and be ready to assemble a few knives and get these out the door. Well, YouTube, that's sort of the once over on what's been going on here in the Blades to Be shop the last few weeks as I've been just trying to crank out some parts and get some things done and get caught up on uh, a few of these knives I need to get to people for Christmas. So I've got some of those sold, need to get them finished. So it's been heads down working. It's about to get to Thanksgiving. I've got a couple of days off next week. Hopefully I'll be able to get caught up and get everything finished up. Hope you all are having uh, great turkey plans this week. Hope you all are going to be set for a great Thanksgiving week. Enjoy some football, enjoy some turkey, maybe some time with family, and I should be getting another video out really shortly after the holiday weekend. I've got some ideas for those next videos, but if you've got an idea, if you've got something you'd like to see from a machining welding video, go ahead and drop that in the comment, and I will see what I can do to get that out there for you. Till then, hope you all are out in your own shop, working on some projects of your own, making some chips of your own. Have yourselves a great turkey day, and I'll be back and see you soon. Y'all take care.